Everything on set of uh, Black Panther 2, by the way. <sighs> Going along, coming Amazing? along. Yeah. Amazing. You Absolutely. You were telling me backstage that they uh, decided to change the costume of Black Panther. Jimmy, I was telling you that in confidence. <laughs> that was my homegirl, Angela Bassett, doing a interview where she slipped up and let out a secret about Black Panther 2. He's going to be getting a new outfit, and we're going to discuss that the Easter eggs you might have missed from the Black Widow trailer, and also my favorite Easter egg from the past as we dive into Marvel and what they're gonna be doing with Black Panther 2. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe. This is the Lamont Tyson channel. I'm a big nerd. I just can't help it. I do tech reviews, movie reviews, TV show reviews, and of course I'm doing Black Panther. I'm wearing the gear. Follow me on Instagram. Let's dive on into it. Black Widow is supposed to release in May, and I think they're gonna be doing it on a VOD service considering the coronavirus. And Black Panther is still filming, even though a lot of the other properties have stopped because of coronavirus. Black Panther is set to set off phase five of what Marvel is gonna do. It's probably gonna be the movie that's gonna introduce us into new characters that they got from Fox. Hopefully we'll see Storm in the Black Panther mythos because in the comments, man, they had a relationship. But the only problem with that is his current girlfriend is probably going to have to kick rocks, man, and Storm will beat the crap out of her. But in terms of what we learn from the Black Widow trailer, the Easter eggs, the biggest one for me is do you guys see the armor Taskmaster is wearing? That is pure vibranium on those claws. And you might be saying, well, how did he get it? You know they're doing this continuity where he possibly could have got this from Ulysses Claw. He bought it from him back in the day. But then you still have to wonder, okay, so he bought the vibranium. You have to have knowledge of how to weave this into your outfits, make weapons with it. And that leads you to the other case. Well, Taskmaster basically was running his own Black Widow type program. And the speculation is that this chick right here that you see, it's kind of hard to see her face, but when you zoom in on her, she looks to have some of the same type tattoos and stuff that you see from the Dora Milaje, which is letting everybody feel as though she was the inside spy teaching Taskmaster how to make weapons, how the Wakandans did life, and gave him all the secrets he needed to use this as a weapon as he's setting up spies around the world. And if you look at this graphic right here, where you see all the red dots, which equals Black Widow agents around the world, and you see one that looks like it's zoomed in on Wakanda itself. And so those are some of the major Easter eggs leading to Black Panther 2 that I found in the Black Widow trailer. Now, some of my favorite past ones that they have done is here you see Nick Fury when he was talking to Iron Man, and right there on the map, right by Africa, you see something going on in what they're calling Atlantis. And then later on in Avengers, you see this clip. A reading on those tremors? It was a mild subduction under the African plate. Do we have a visual? How are we handling it? Not. It's an earthquake under the ocean. We handle it by not handling it. That is definitely talking about Namor becoming a villain, which has been a huge point of conversation. Who is going to be his villain? I've heard Dr. Doom. I heard that maybe some of the mutants could be um, in this movie and be his villain. But I'm really hoping that they bring in Namor. The only drawback to that is Namor is such a huge character. He's definitely going to have to have a backstory before he fights T'Challa because they have a war. That could be an ongoing movie series right by itself. Him versus um, Black Panther because both of these guys are kings, both of these people love their individual places, and he could be very upset that no one came to help him after what happened in Avengers, Infinity War. So we'll just have to wait to see what happens with that. But in all honesty, I feel like the movie is gonna be good, and the very first thing I showed you was Angela Bassett talking about him getting a new suit. If you guys have seen, everybody gets new suits in Marvel. It helps sell merchandise, but in the story continuity, he needs a new suit because every time he meets new villains, there's probably always new challenges the villain presents, and he definitely would need a new suit to help overcome some of those challenges. 
You remember Shuri made him that last suit she was picking on him about. His suit was old technology and she had one that was connected to his brain. Nanobytes, absorb energy, it could do the whole nine. And I can't wait to see what this new suit that Shuri is gonna build for him is gonna do. Ladies and gentlemen, leave me all your comments. What do you hope is gonna happen in Black Panther 2? Who do you hope is gonna be the villain? Did I miss anything in the Black Widow that leads us to see more evidence and clues that's gonna happen in Black Panther 2? That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, go get yourself a life game. Can't wait for Marvel to get back rolling. This will be the big phase five when Black Panther 2 comes out. Can't wait to see it. Let's hope everything gets better with this coronavirus. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.